Ungwa. Go no bato ke hang on eba. Ebe che zuna e chelem. Eh, ma hon. Kulia. Come. Are you in Kachinale? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Come, I don't hear you. Are you in Kachinale? Yes, sir. Who is this man? He's my husband. Eh? He's my husband, but we are no longer together. You are no longer together. Ngabiana Biana Reba. Okay. The man is sit here. Woman is sit here. Somebody shout two days in his presence. Praise the Lord. Your name. Where do you come from? Your village. I am Ochima, Charles Mwadike. I'm on Yimbo State from Unjaba local government. I'm Ocha to be precise. I'm Ocha and Unjaba. Sister, where do you come from? I'm from Imo State. I'm from Imo State, Unjaba local government. I'm Ocha. I'm Ocha, the same place. But then the mic here, all the two low. Ungwa Chris and Jide. Woman, how long were you together before the separation? Eh? Five years. Five years. And you have a child? Eh? Yes. One child? Yes. For him? Yes, sir. So where is that child now? Eh? She's with me. Two of you are from almost the same village. Since you left him, have you married? Eh? No, sir. Since you left her, have you married? No, sir. Okay. What is those things you don't like about her? She even eh? she disrespect me in the front of my daughter. What kind of disrespect? Okay, Five years, I cannot say that I'm happy for three years. Oh, five years. You cannot say you are happy for three years. Yes. Oh. And uh, he said that if people are living here, he says she don't want to live in Nago. Yes. And because of her, he packed to Ibejuleki. Ibejuleki. Yes, sir.
Hey, the way he's saying it is not how it happened. How did it happen? Actually, that day my daughter did something and I beat her. And he came and said, uh, if I beat her again, that he will do this, he will do that to me. And I said, if my daughter do something bad, why can't I beat her? And he said, he will do this, he will do that. He will. That's when I said, I'm forgetting all those things, but that is how it happened. That is how it happened. I can't go here too much on a couple of my own money. I come at some one way, which you can ask school. Eh? Oh, more, I come at some one way because every three educate, educate, and work more at the school. What I create, it is stop on one, stop on. In one, what you want to quiet. What I create, I go on air, come in the morning, six a.m. Oh, more, I come at some. Okay, you are the one that take bet your daughter. Eh? Yes, and you are the one taking her to school. I will bet her, she will make her lunch balls. I will feed her. She will take her to school. Just to avoid beating her. Eh? I think you can make it. You can say, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Until one day. Yes, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Oh, no, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Push this ram up for almost 11 months. The husband says he stopped walking, washing his clothes for 11 months. But they can, he can see he's hot tempered, and I'm not. Eh? He's hot tempered, that is his problem. He's not a hot tempered. He's hot tempered. And I'm not. And the way he's saying it is not the way it's happening. I'm not. Why are you close to him, man? Thanks. Ne. Order. 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 Bubu tebula. Butre mochenka. Okay. Since she packed out of your house, where, which house are you living now? Okay, your husband is one that pack out, huh? Eh? Yes. Is is that true? Is that true that when you people are living in Agor here? You push him to go out. Be honest. Nobody, this is the holy altar. I know. I know. I've been coming here. I know this place you cannot lie. And I have no reasons to lie. I'm not as tempered. Your husband says you, you disrespect him. Be honest. And the, the highest need of a man is not sex. Highest need of a man is not how many styles you give him on the bed. The highest need of a man is respect. A man who desire respect. That is why our fathers can marry 20 women and 20 of them will still be submissive to one man. Our fathers call their, our mothers call their husband, my lord. But nowadays, you people call sugar cane, magi, tomato. And because of tomato, sugar cane, banana, no respect again. What do you need to say? Base that respect. He has been hammering respect, respect. It's because of the manner of approach that he uses. There's a way you talk to somebody and the person will listen. There is no, two wrongs cannot make a right. If your husband raises voice, it is culturally that when your husband is talking, a woman should mellow down. When he finish talking, whether it's rubbish, you go to him quietly. 
Because your husband is your Lord. Your husband is your Lord. From the day you marry, two of you are not equal. Your husband is the head of the family. Women must get this, that your husband is the head. Two of you are not the same, equal. Two of you are one, but he is your head. Madam, your husband is the head of the family. And the, when the principal comes to secondary school, all the teachers listen to him. Your husband is the principal of that house. Most of the problem we are having is that people believe that when you marry you and your husband. No, a wise woman does not talk when the husband is talking. Somebody give me Ephesians chapter. Open the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verses 20 to 22. Open it, drop it on the television. Drop it, let me read it. Ephesians chapter 5 from verses 20 to 21, 22 to 23. Drop it on the television immediately. Let me read it from the television. Ephesians Ephesians chapter 5 from verses 20 to 21, 22. Is Francis sleeping? Ephesians 5, 20. Watch. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I always give thanks for everything to God, the Father. 21. Submit yourself to one another because of your reference for Christ. 22. Wife, submit yourself to your husband as to the Lord. Wife, submit yourself. Let's read together. Wife, submit yourself to your husband as up to the Lord. Continue. For, yes, let's read together. For, a husband has authority over his wife just as Christ have authority over the church and Christ himself the savior of the church his body so woman from the day we realize that your husband is the head you give him that respect your husband is the head and everything this man is talking now is based on respect now Oga, let me talk to you i want to speak to you by first peter 3 7 put it on the television first peter 3 7 First Peter 3 7. Let's read together. In the same way, you husband must live with your wife with proper understanding that they are more dedicated than you. Treat them with respect because they also will receive together with you God's gift of life. Do this so that nothing will interfere with your prayers. Now, okay, the Bible says, treat them with understanding. People that can put attachment for three months without pouring it water, it should only 
Nana Margin. I said, man, now, can you stay without pouring water on your head? Eh? Are they possible? But a woman can carry head for two months without watching it. Isha de Ahama. So, you treat them with understanding. Okay, let me tell you. If you and your wife are not in good time, you, your prayer will be hindered. The Bible says, treat them understanding so that nothing will interfere in your prayers. Women are the only people, are the only creation that tell God, you need to create me better than where you created me. God gave them head. They put wig and attachment. God gave them finger. They put fingernails. God gave them eyes. They put eyelashes. It is shown in seed in them. Now listen to me, Oga. Okay? Remember that your wife, because that place we read now, put it in good news. He says they are weaker vessel. Good news, use the, we, the language of weaker vessel. Because put good news there. Let me see it. Use the good news version. 1 Peter 3 7. Rebecca Francis. No. Uh huh. Likewise, you husband dwell with them according to knowledge. Give honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. Your wife is a weaker vessel. See her as an egg. That egg, if you don't manage egg very well, if egg drop on the ground, it will break. Sometimes women are emotional built people. You must use sweet words. Women, most time, they don't have problem, but a, a man must learn how to manage a woman. A woman will know that she's very ugly, but just tell her you are the most beautiful person. Also, you can say that again. So, you have to be romantic to manage a woman. You must tell them that their leg is fine. Even when the leg is bow leg. You must tell them that you are the most beautiful in the world. You must tell them that your food is sweet. Even when it is not sweet. So that you can be able to sleep in that house that night. Am I communicating? Tell them, baby. This food I'm eating is the sweetest. You have to be romantic to manage a woman because they are weaker vessels. The way they understand things is not the way men understand. That is why the Bible says, treat them according to understanding. Understanding. Women understand things differently. Woman. I feel that this marriage should continue. Uh, uh, Madam is violent. Eh? Yes. violent. It's violent. That is the only problem. It's violent. Oga, I suggest that two of you should forgive each other. Remember that no. Eh? The family disrespect me. No. All go about children. Do you people wear that in the church? No. Are you ready for this marriage? Are you ready? Obi is Obi thing is 
He said what? I told her I want to bring my daughter to Zion. She gave me all sorts of excuses. It's not good for your daughter to have a stepmother and for your daughter to have a stepfather. It's not good to have children to different places. I want to have reasons. You know, I'm not one of the world happy. She had a fibro before I got married to her. She knew. I stood by her. I moved to my year change. Uh, no matter what that one is condemnable because beating your wife is bad you can hit her she die your strength is not her strength so that one is condemnable so my brother in this relationship two of you are at fault your wife is at fault in some area some area you are at fault I suggest two of you should make peace then I will be the part of the family. I will come and visit two of you. I will pray for restoration of business. And you need to pregnant her for another baby. Because it's, it's not one child you will have. I believe you love her. And I believe she loves you. But two of you lack understanding. I believe two of you love each other. And I believe... If two of you agree for reconciliation, families, it will be easy for them. I will still call them after this program. And the things will get better. I've advised your wife that she should be submissive and be quiet when the husband is speaking. And I advise you that it's not good to beat your wife. And you must also know that a man must be romantic and take it easy with a woman. Women, if you give them trouble, they will reply you with wahala. My brother, listen to me. Getting married to another woman will not solve the problem. 
No woman is angel. Sometimes, devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. Many has moved from fire to frying pan. Consider reconciling with your wife. Madam, consider to tell your darling, I am sorry. I'm going to be a good woman. The way you are as a single mother, you can tell me you are happy. You are, your joy can never be completed as a single mother. If you die, they buried you in your father's house instead of your husband's house. If you are not a grow up, she will tell you, Mom, why are you not with your husband? I don't think you are happy staying alone. You must learn how to be apologetic. Many women, their problem in this life is that, darling, I am sorry. Most of women that know how to say, I'm sorry, they win the heart of their husband. You are not complete as the way you are now. Eh? Was it more than sorry before in her life? Even when she's wrong. But, but, but it can start today. Sorry. Sorry. Good day. And it's the day I stopped saying so. That was the day that the marriage broke. Then she can start today. Oh, you could be today. Omochuku. How many years do we have to live in this life? Why must you come to the world? The way you divorce, two of you divorce, you have sowed the seed of divorce in the life of your baby. That your daughter will grow up tomorrow and marry and divorce because papa and mama have shown her the way. Any anytime you divorce your partner, you have sowed evil seed of divorce in your generation. No marriage is aki and popo. Every marriage has problem. There are some couples that have passed through more than what two of you are passing through, and they are still together. Is two of you drunk?
Umi kukwalei honu uchara Sakwa kanebe o, sakwa kanebe o, sakwa kanebe o. My darling, I will never leave you. I will keep on loving you till that very end. Oh, my darling, I will never leave you. I will keep on loving you. Till that very day, oh my darling, I will never leave you. I will keep on loving you till that very day. Oh my darling, I will never leave you. I will keep on loving you till that very day. Oh my darling, I will never leave you. I will keep on loving you till that very day. Oh my darling, I will never leave you. I will keep on loving you till that very day. Many at the altar. Oh, 
separation listen have I seen you before have I talked to you before no sir have I seen you before talk to you before no sir the husband came for testimony from testimony the whole thing started the Holy Ghost one two of you back with your baby and the family will prosper again and the love will come and from today, two of you will respect each other. Amen. And the favor will start. Amen. After today's program, I want to see that your daughter, three of you, will come inside the office. Um? Or if you bring her tomorrow, when you are coming, so that I will see three of you together. I even as spiritual things are real, marriages are under attack. And people don't know. Marriages are under attack. What is happening today is how the Holy Ghost wants it. Because I never know two of you before. I never see two of you before. This is my first time. Our work is to repair what the enemy has damaged. That is my work. I don't believe that the best thing is divorce. You are getting old. She is getting old. After divorce, some years, reality will begin to come. No marriage is safe. Every marriage is in trouble. Ability to manage, understand, and move ahead is the best. No, no couple will tell you they are not quarreling. No couple in the world. Okay, so Five years. What coin join together? Let no man put a son. From this altar, may the love begin to burn like a fire. From this altar, let there be restoration. From this altar, let favor come. From this altar, May the Lord beautify both of you. Amen. In the holy name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Oh, come on, come on, 